Well, welcome back to another day. We're in East Idaho again. This time we're in Island Park. You'll see some of it around me. This is on Highway 20 just before you go into Montana. Like you're going into West Yellowstone or uh, Big Sky, Belgrade. There are several towns up through there. You go through part of Yellowstone going up into Montana this way. Or you can go into the actual park itself too. So, But Island Park's kind of a unique area. It's got a main street that they say is 75 miles long. And most of it's Highway 20 that you see here in the background. And there's just miles and miles of riding out here. Some of them are mapped, some of them are county roads, some are just dirt trails. So there's nothing technical here really, or nothing I've ever found. Just real scenic and it's a great vacation place for the families. Uh, there's water skiing, uh, razor riding, boating, you name it, fishing. And there's a lot of Airbnb cabins to rent, a few motels. Uh, we're only about 35 miles from West Yellowstone, so it's a good place to stay and go spend a day or two going through Yellowstone. And just a real unique area. It's also known as the snowmobile capital of the world, so they get an incredible amount of snow here and a lot of flats but there's a lot of big backcountry hill banging too so pretty unique area so let's go show you part of it ever wondered where all your springs and rivers come from creeks that's how it happens this is a pretty huge example it's pretty rare that you see springs that form an instant almost river but pretty cool area this cabin over here right through the trees that's Johnny sack cabin this and I'll walk over and around it. I've got to take a different trail, I guess, to get to it. But all handmade. And he had his own power source and everything here. Figured out how to preserve wood to keep the bark on it. Because normally you can for a few years, but that was done, I'm thinking back in the 50s, but it might have even been before that. So I'll walk around to it and give you an outside view. The inside's closed, so we can't see the good detail, but pretty cool area here. Just one of the many things Island Park has to offer. I don't know if you can see that or not, but there's big trout right down there below me.
Must not be hungry right now. They're eating over there. Pretty fish, just not very hungry. Right there's the fish. Yeah, that's a pretty cool area. This is all fed by what just came out of that spring over there at the cabin. This is where you get the fish food. Hopefully you can read that. There's kind of a plaque that memorializes the Johnny Sack. He was a German immigrant and leased this from the Forest Service. And he leased it in 1929 and started building this cabin. And he lived here until 1957. So, pretty unique area. It, like I said, it's closed now. Sometime we'll get out here when they're still open and film inside if they'll let us. You know how the government's getting with all our stuff. They just don't want us to show it off. And they think they're in control. But here's his little power hut that he eventually did with the water wheel. If 
few of the wild raspberries still on too. Yeah, this is a pretty unique area and it's about six, seven miles off the highway, ten maybe. There's several ways to get here, so but need to come see, so if you're in the area on your way to Yellowstone, it's a good place to let the kids out and run around and feed the fish during morning and evening hours the fish come up the best. There's some real monsters in there, so We'll continue on. shoots and this is the old railroad bed that we're on they've now taken out the tracks and just made it into a trail but that's where they used to ship all the cattle out of that they'd summer up here all year fatten them up and then ship them off to the sale yards and slaughterhouses to be butchered Well, there's the end of another good trail day. Uh, hopefully you liked the Johnny Sack. Sorry we couldn't show you more of it, but just timed it wrong to show you when it was open. So we're about out to the pavement again, and we'll head back to where we're camped. So thanks for watching. Bye-bye, sweetheart. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>